This graph represents your inlet pressures, your varying inlet pressures, your inlet temperatures. We're, we're just showing that as a standard for, for a basis. And then it'll show your dew point and your relative humidity. So as you can see, as you regulate to different pressures, the lower the pressure you regulate, the better performance you'll have for the dryness or the, the lower humidity of the air. Today we're going to cover the operation and the technology behind the Tsunami Membrane Drying System. This technology is actually a technology that actually dries the air or removes humidity from the air. It comes as a complete package uh, when you mount it on your system, uh, depending on, on what type of system you're using. Uh, you just mount the bracket, it comes with a ball valve so you can install a ball valve so you can shut the air off when you're not in use. This technology is packaged with a, a water separator, a tsunami water separator. It comes into an oil coalescing filter, so we're removing any oil before it gets to the membrane. And then it goes through the membrane dryer. And the technology of how a membrane dryer works is this tube here is full of these membranes. And these are long cylindrical tubes that run all the way down this chamber right here. As the air comes in here, the air flows through the center of these tubes and as that air passes down through the center of the tubes, the moisture, the humidity, the water vapor is allowed to pass through the outsides of the tubes. So they act like a one-way check valve. When the air reaches the bottom of here, it's very dry. So what we do is at the very bottom of here, we come through and we run through this little orifice right here. And we take a small amount of air, approximately 3.3 CFM of air, and now that air flows backwards and it flows up and it flows around the outside of all these small tubes. So as that, that humidity is coming on the outside of those tubes, we, we take that dry air and we force that humidity up through the top of this filter, this membrane, and you'll see there's a series of holes in here. So when you turn this on, there's a controlled leak right here. You'll hear a little bit of air that, that, that seeps out of here continually, about 3.3 CFM. So this is where your air is actually being dry. The humidity that's in the air is, is coming out right here. The dry air is coming down through here. What we'd recommend is putting in one of our regulators. We have one of our regulators in the kit. And you would set this regulator to maybe 20 pounds or 30 pounds or 40 pounds of pressure, whatever the minimum pressure it is that's going to take to do the painting. The higher the pressure in here, the lower the pressure here, the better the operation of the unit. But it's a complete package. One thing you would not want to do is mount this inside a spray booth where you'd be baking. One of the things that will kill or destroy this membrane is high temperature. The other thing on that membrane is again oil. So that's why we package our system with this big large oil coalescer here so we keep the oil out. Uh, but it's a very simple system when you're done so you're not wasting air when you're done spraying or your equipment's done. You can turn that off and then it'll just sit there.